Welcome everyone. We're delivering to you the real stories of our global Atomians to dig deeper into Atomy. I'm Cameron, your host for Global Talk To Me. And here we have several global Atomians who are joining us today. Welcome everybody. Hello. 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 Yes. Hi. Over here on the end, we have Lizelle joining us again. How have you been? I'm good. I, uh, last month, I just came back to the Philippines and did a business there and also met my partners, my business partners and also my families. So I have a wonderful time. Wow, that must have been a great time in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we also have three new faces as well. Uh, so that everyone watching at home can get to know a little bit about you, please quickly introduce yourselves, starting over here. Sure, hello. Hi. 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 I'm Julie Kim, Sharon's master. I grew up in the United States, so that's where I started my anime business. Mm -hmm. And after the pandemic, I came to Korea and expanding my business here globally. Mm -hmm. as well. oh, yeah, nice to meet you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then here? Hey guys. Hi. Hi. I'm Jessica. I'm a diamond master. Can you guys pick up my accent or guess where I'm from? Uh, Somewhere so in the southern part of the hemisphere. Good guess. Yes. <laughs> I'm from where koalas and kangaroos are. Australia. Ooh, Australia. Oh, yeah. I lived there for 11 years, so mm -hmm. I went there when I was 14, um, lived there for yeah, 11 years. And then I came back just like Julie once mm -hmm. COVID arose. And since then, I'm doing this as global business. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, Jessica. Thank you. And then the gentleman. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. I am Lee Jae-woong, Diamond Master. I'm Korean, and I've not that uh, about country, uh, although I'm for and uh, speaking English, but I want to enjoy uh, today's talk show. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, and thanks to all of you. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things to talk about today. As we all know by now, the K syndrome, the K wave mm -hmm. has taken over the world by storm. We have K pop, mm -hmm. K food, K dramas. Mm -hmm. We have so many <laughs> things from Korean culture that are being mm -hmm. exported out. What is your guys' opinion on all of this? Well, actually, K pop, K beauty is already well known, mm -hmm. but most shocking thing for me was actually these days the traditional Korean tools and mm -hmm. outwear is very popular all over the world. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you guys heard about Kat? Which is the Korean traditional hat. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Some of you guys may see it from uh -huh. Netflix. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So that's also popular. And the ho, which is the tool, mm -hmm. they dig into the like, hole. It's called homi mm -hmm. in Korea. Oh. Yes. yes. Yeah, I saw yeah. that on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh. So apparently these two items are all sold out on Amazon. So people are oh. very interested oh. and it's popular. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's absolutely great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we mentioned the K food. Uh, have you had any experiences specifically with K food and its acceptance mm. abroad? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. I have a story about uh, K food. I like ramen and uh, yeah. I cook for my daughters mm -hmm. and they uh, like mine than her mother's. Oh. Ah. Oh, yes, I like ramen so uh, I have uh, read an article. The ramen export is uh, grow uh, ten times than the Korean kimchi. Mm, ten times. Mm. Yes, yes. I was also surprised that uh -huh. many people kimchi is the Korean style traditional right. dishes mm -hmm. and food, mm -hmm. but ramen is ten times than kimchi. Wow. I wonder what makes this K food syndrome. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wonder why people yeah. are so interested in ramyeon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think honestly, K culture had a big impact. Mm -hmm. You know, zapaguri mm -hmm. oh, yes. from oh, Parasite. Yes. Parasite. Yeah. Parasite. I like it. And mm -hmm. also, BTS's oh. spicy bokkeumyeon. Oh my goodness, these went viral, which made a big impact mm -hmm. for the K Korean ramen, mm -hmm. right? And the popularity grew from that. That's really true, and I think. 
If you think about ramen, you can buy it in the supermarket.、Mm -hmm. It's easy to make at home by yourself. Yeah, it's、yes. uh, easily accessible to someone、right. not as familiar with cooking Korean food, yeah, right? right? In the Philippines, Filipino love ramen, but、mm -hmm. then the rich people don't eat ramen. It's because they think that it's for common people or for ordinary people.、Uh -huh. So when I went to the Philippines last month, I met a lady who is affluent. And、uh, running a business, a big business in the Philippines,、mm -hmm. and then she said that she can give ramen to her children for as long as it's Adami ramen.、Oh, yeah. Only Adami、wow. ramen, right?、Uh, no other brand, <laughs>、uh -huh. because she think that Adami ramen is has its premium quality、mm -hmm. and it's made of healthier ingredients compared to other brands. Oh wow!、Uh, so the Adami K ramen is breaking some <laughs> cultural barriers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By being high quality and healthy, that's、mm -hmm. great.、Mm -hmm. Have there been any other food-related experiences you've had? You know, Russians like、mm. to eat chocolate a lot. That's what、oh, I remember、yes. because、mm -hmm. they like to, you know, stock up on sugar and chocolate、mm -hmm. to fight the cold, you know, weather. Yeah,、so uh, it's cold yeah. there. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. And my business partners and consumers, I gave them our Adami's Choco Balls.、Oh. How tasty that is!、Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Really、they love the taste, but at the same time. It was easy on their diet.、Oh. Oh. It's a healthier right, it's version. Healthier.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, healthier.、Mm -hmm. Well, that is absolutely amazing how Adami is able to take these K food products、mm -hmm. and really successfully introduce them into the market.、Mm -hmm. The reception has been absolutely wonderful. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. You were talking about the Philippines.、Mm -hmm. uh, what has the reception been in the Philippines? In the Philippines, there is a positive reception because when they see that it's made in Korea, they think that the products are luxurious.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, K beauty is huge. You know, like anything made in Korea, they just grab it without、mm -hmm. looking at second time. So not only because of the ingredients being organic,、uh, as Lizal said, a、uh, luxurious impression,、mm -hmm. as well as the design and the pattern that go behind it, made a huge reputation, like positive reputation about K beauty all over the world. Yes, they're less biased towards it. They're so open-minded about、mm -hmm. that because you know they buy Adami products without hesitation, no questions asked. Why? Because it's K Beauty brand, right?、Mm -hmm. yeah. right? So I think Adami definitely has a competitive advantage. Definitely, definitely. there is definitely a synergistic effect, right?、Mm -hmm. K Wave, the image, the premium quality, with the premium quality products that Adami already produces, I think has、uh, made it very successful abroad.、Mm -hmm. These days, made, made in, in Korea, Korea. Mm -hmm. the K brand is、mm -hmm. number one.、Mm -hmm. Anywhere, anybody, every day they wash. Brush every day, so I think the the Korean many good products、uh, will be sellable in everywhere in the world. That's very true. I mean, everybody wants a good quality toothbrush、mm -hmm. at a good price, right?、Yes. Mm -hmm. In the Philippines, lifestyle or living products are saleable. Actually, Atomi Hemuhim is also popular. Some people find it economically unaffordable.、Mm -hmm. Toothbrush and shampoo and toothpaste are、uh, daily necessities. That's why they prefer to buy it rather than Hemuhim.、Mm -hmm. And also, the rich people buy also the medical. Mm. Medi cook the kitchen utensil,、yeah. the yeah. cooking supplies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I assume even though everyone in the world would use a toothbrush, would use cooking utensils,、mm. there's probably some differences between country to country. Yeah, definitely. When it comes to cosmetic products, especially depending on the environment, I guess、mm. there is different, like different, huge difference,、mm. huge preference. For example, I went to Mongolia. It's cold weather. When during winter, it goes down to negative forty degrees.、Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So cold. I went there during January, February. That's how cold it is in Mongolia. So obviously, people tend to have dry skin.、Mm. So they're looking for products that is very moisturizing、mm. with thick consistency.、Mm. Whereas in Bangladesh, which is much hotter environment,、right. yes,、yeah. and in Bangladesh, they are looking for something has lighter, like fresh、right. um, mm. feeling. And of course,、um, they have this impression of having lighter skins.、Mm. The symbol of wealth,、mm -hmm. so they're looking for a product、yeah. that brightens their、mm -hmm. skin. So in Adami products, you know, peeling gel, peel off mask, a top seller in Bangladesh market. Wow,、right. yeah. Depending on your environment, depending on your culture, the even though they're all cosmetics, they're all very different. Right.、Mm -hmm. Julia is someone who's lived a long time in America. <laughs>、uh, what do Americans、mm -hmm. prefer with their cosmetics?、Mm, Americans are interested in skincare. But they don't really like complex skincare regimen. 
So they tend to stay away from product sets. What? Set? They don't like set? <laughs> yeah, here in Korea, everybody my, loves sets, my, my right? My father is so right. right. They're enemy. <laughs> That's because my father, uh, the huge fan of absolute. Mm. And furthermore, every day, mm -hmm. they like and clean or a taste, mm -hmm. linkage free. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> my father is much younger than his friends. Oh. So, I don't understand why they don't like the sense. Well, Western societies, I think they have a different perception about skincare. Mm -hmm. For Americans, what happens is they use a couple of products recommended by the beauty advisors if they go to the department stores, mm -hmm. and they just use that. Sometimes oh. they don't even know what ambulance, what mm -hmm. serum is. Oh, they just have wow, everything called really? lotion. Everything is lotion. Everything, everything is lotion. Like, everything is lotion. Everything is lotion. Right. Yeah. So they can't yeah. tell the difference. I can understand that. That depends on the, the culture of right. every right. Mm. So if we give them a set, mm. it's like too much hassle for them. They don't oh. know what to use. So we just recommend them what they need, depending on their concern. And then what we do is once they like it, then we give them the set and they'll take it. And they uh. love it. And that's how we approach. But you bring up a very good point. If you want to succeed in a global business, you have to be able to find those parts of the country's culture mm -hmm. uh, where you can introduce the right Atomy product for them. Have any of you experienced uh, maybe a cultural aspect that you've matched with an Atomy product? Well, recently, last month, April, there was the Ramadan period in Bangladesh. So people do fasting there. So that's why, because of the culture, me doing anime business, because you know it's global business, mm -hmm. so we gotta respect their culture. So mm -hmm. we have to organize a Zoom meeting after 9 p.m. Mm. when they start eating. Oh. You know, like when you're hungry, you get really grumpy. Yeah. You don't know how it works, right? <laughs> I don't so, eat, yeah. Exactly. So that's one of um, cultural aspects in Bangladesh. Mm. Um, talk more about Bangladesh because it's a Muslim country, mm. very restricted about gender. Mm. So I found it very interesting when I went to hair salon, there are two different entrances. So mm. one for female, mm. the other one for male. Mm. So for male, only male hairdressers can do their hair. For female, obviously only female hairdressers. So for me, who wants to promote Edemy products, I'm not allowed to touch any male consumers. So in order to demonstrate products, I need to ask my other partners, who's a guy, a gentleman, he has to promote and demonstrate and can make any physical touch on same gender consumer. So that's oh. yeah, very important. So to if you're touching culture. their hair or like rubbing a lotion into their skin mm -hmm. or anything, only the, the same gender. Only same gender allowed. Wow. Yeah. If you don't know this, you make a huge mistake mm -hmm. on them. So mm -hmm. you gotta be careful. So yeah. Right. We've been talking about a lot of cultural differences, but are there any more you can think of? Mm, you know, I'm Korean, but you know, growing up in the U.S. and mm. living there for so long, mm -hmm. Korea feels abroad to me. Mm. <laughs> so, oh. no. And what I realize is that Korean culture has that body body, you know? Everything's so fast here. Mm. But, you know, in the United States, everything's so, you know, free. Let's take it slow. And not just American culture, but in also Latino culture, I was experienced, you know, with Latino culture. Mm. So I think, with Atomy business as well, that really implies uh, too much packed schedule, too much pressure. It can be a lot of a burden. Uh, yeah. So yeah. what we do is for me, you know, we like to have fun at mm -hmm. the same time. So in our seminars, we like to have some music mm -hmm. after. And for Latino cultures, I was invited to events where we had lots of dance parties. Oh, oh so, wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. An Atomy dance oh, yeah. party. So I would, you know, dance a lot with us. Wow. Music. It was very easy going. That's mm. what I really like. And that created a lot of bond, mm -hmm. created a strong bond with them, and created a relationship, which also connected to you know business partners, and mm -hmm. they became my consumers as well. Mm. Wow, yeah. that was a, it's a very great strategy, you know. Everyone here seems to have a uh, very very flourishing uh, global business going on. Mm -hmm. Jacob, I know you said that you're a little bit newer to global business. I'm sure you will be very successful very soon. <laughs> uh, but do you have any questions for these three ladies? Okay. I, I want to go abroad and uh, meet uh, 
the global business partners, but I am still not have uh, many businessmen. So I wonder uh, how I get or make uh, my friends or business partner in foreign country. Mm. Oh yes, making that first initial contact mm -hmm. uh, abroad, that can be quite difficult. Mm -hmm. Do any of you have advice for him? I think I can answer to the question. Mm. Actually, whenever you think about the international foreigner partners, you think of going abroad, right? But it's, I guess it's much better, much faster if you can find a foreigner who's living in Korea, who can mm. speak Korean, mm. who's familiar. Oh. Right, here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. right here. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. So if you're going abroad, you gotta spend your time, money, effort, everything, right? Mm. But if you're in Korea, closer mm. so which means you can see each other more often mm. and as we talked about it earlier foreigner who's familiar with korean culture right. can work better with you in uh -huh. korea yeah. so i would definitely recommend mm. you can have um, your partners abroad Wow. But look for someone who can work with you here in local area as well. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. look in your village, yeah. look, in, yeah. look in Korea. Yeah. You yeah. can definitely yeah. find someone. Mm -hmm. and Lizelle as well, as a Filipino living in yeah. Korea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you have a lot that you could uh, tell Jacob. I think it's really important to find leaders who you can connect with. Mm. So like, for example, in Australia, I have a lot of partners in Australia and we have also one center in Australia, my partner center. I started to have these global partners through a Filipino community in Australia. Oh. And I continue to show the vision to them and then that led to more and more partners. Thank you for advice mm -hmm. and good information. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to have any family uh, somewhere? Mm -hmm. My younger brother lives in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I have not yet uh, visited uh, my brother's home, uh, but uh, someday I want to visit uh, my brother. Yes, make friends or make my business. Yeah, and if you're going to go to DC to see your brother, uh. maybe Julie has some advice. You've done a lot of work in the States. Yes. You know, the tip that I want to give you is be patient. Because in the United States, mm. there are a lot of people who are, we have varieties you know, from various countries, mm. different backgrounds. We literally call mm. it the melting pot, right? right. Mm. Lots of different cultures, so people are at all at different stages. Mm. So be patient with that. Mm. And one of the things that I experienced was they might be a little bit slow at technology. Oh. And, you know, <laughs> a little bit in that area. <laughs> <laughs> so it might take a little while to teach them and, you know, help them learn how to even download Atomy app. Mm. You know, it took about two, three months for me for one of them my oh. partners, oh, things yeah. like that. A lot mm. of those times we just need to have, you know, just relax and, you know, be patient and mm. wait for them because once you do, they will take it, they oh. will learn, and they might become one of your best business partners. That's mm. great. Oh, nice. Don't yeah. be haste. Yeah. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah, take mm. your time. Stay by step. <laughs> so add to what Julie said, I want to give you another tip. So once you go abroad, learn their language and their interest. Mm -hmm. So for example, I went to Bangladesh and I've heard that their water quality isn't that great. Mm -hmm. So I brought, you guys know, a Tommy vitamin filter, mm -hmm. water oh, filter, yes, you know yes. that, right? Mm -hmm. So I brought it with me, very shocking result came up. So normally in Korea, after using for about a few months, mm -hmm. the filter changes color. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in Bangladesh, within 20 minutes. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta understand the uh, the needs and maybe wants. So I found that, that maybe if I show this result mm. to consumers and business partners in Bangladesh, they will see, oh, maybe this is the market, like niche market mm. that we can target on. Mm. Mm. So um, that's another thing that you can take into. Also, when I talked about language, mm. uh, my personal yeah, tip is whenever I go um, overseas in Brazil, they speak Portuguese, Mongolia, Mongolian, mm. um, Bangladesh, Bengali, right? So I speak English. However, I try to pick their local language and with a greet it with their language. Mm. So um, if I greet with their local language, suddenly, you know, mm. they get really familiar. Mm. They yeah. open their hearts and yeah. she speak our language. Yeah. So yeah, to open their hearts and become friends, Reading with their local language is key. Thank you, you three, for all of that wonderful advice. Jacob, now it's your time to take all that advice, and we know that you're going to be very successful, okay? Thank so are you. you ready to work hard? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Mighty. 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 <laughs> you can Thank do you. it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, talking with everyone today, I can't not be certain that Atomy has to be very successful globally because we have so many people, you have so much wisdom, you have so much experience uh, that I'm sure that not just me, everyone is looking forward to the bright future that you all have. Talking with everyone today, I am confident that Atomy will be successful globally. And I look forward to seeing our Atomy family being active on the global stage. This has been another installment of Global Talk To Me, and we will come back again with even more interesting topics. Until next time, bye! bye.